Melina from Weekend RV Adventures. We are off for our next adventure down to Houston Wood State Park in southwestern Ohio. Um, for us, it's about a four hour drive down there, so we packed some lunches in the car and got the camper all hooked up and we are ready to go. Um, We're gonna see how Houston Wood State Park compares to West Branch State Park here. Um, I know that there is a golf course. Um, don't know if that's going to be open. There's a swimming pool. I'm assuming that's going to be closed. The beach down there, we'll kind of wait and see what happens. Um, but hopefully, anyway it goes, we'll have a good time. We'll find some hiking trails to go do, ride some bikes, hang out with the kids and the dog, and just kind of enjoy our time together. So, um, we will see you soon whenever we get there. We are uh, all set up here at our campsite now. We're in B4, which is in the B loop. Um, it's in the electric only section of the campground and they're all pull through sites, which is pretty nice. But we were supposed to be in the A loop, which is gonna be full hookup sites new for this year. We actually didn't know the full hookup sites were new for this year when we booked though. We thought they'd always been here. Um, but I got a call about two weeks ago and they told me that the full hookup sites weren't ready. So they moved us over to this B loop. Um, I'm still pretty happy with the site here though. What do you think? I'm still happy with it. I hate when our water pump has to run, but that's part of camping, so. So, uh, you know, the A-loop looks like it's just about done. We walked through over there. I actually turned on one of the water faucets and it's working. <laughs> so I don't know if they're just waiting to cut the grass or what, but uh, I would assume if you want to get in Houston Woods sometime this summer, you could probably get a full hookup site uh, pretty soon. Yeah. Yep. They're pretty nice. They have a cement little patio for your picnic table to go on and you have a cement pad on the back side of your camper with your sewer and electric box and then there's a safety pole so you don't hit the water line like we did other time. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the other thing I noticed over there is they're 50 amp electric hookups and they're only 30 amp here. So uh, if you've got two air conditioners you'd be able to run them over on that side. But other than that, uh, we're happy with it. We haven't walked around the rest of the campground yet, and this is a big state park, so we'll check some more of it out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, we did notice there are some differences here in the coronavirus restrictions and the signage and stuff that's up compared to when we were in West Branch about two weeks ago. There doesn't seem to be as many signs posted around. Um, the playground is still has caution tape all around it, but the volleyball net is up here. Um, there's a big pavilion in the center of the campsite and it looks like it was cautioned off at one point in time But people have broken through at different <laughs> spots. So that's kind of hit or miss um, The men's shower house door did not have any type of sign on it, but the women's did So we'll see if there's other things going on um, Oh, yeah, the camp store was closed. You did see that when we came in. Yep camp store is still closed so. and uh, the drinking fountains are on here though at West Branch all the drinking fountains were turned off but they seem to be on here. So I don't know if the state's just uh, rolling back some of the restrictions or if it's just a difference between the state parks. But uh, we're gonna hang out here a little bit, make some dinner, and then uh, just relax around our campsite the rest of the night and maybe make a campfire and... What, Sydney, you want some dessert out there? Yes, I want marshmallows. Mm. And I want a campfire cone. All right, so I guess we're making marshmallows and campfire cones later tonight. Hey, it's Jason here. It's Saturday morning. We uh, thought the weather was supposed to be great all weekend. It looked like there were some storms heading through uh, further north up by Lake Erie, but nothing was gonna come down this way. 
But we got up this morning and it's windy, cloudy, and uh, there's a chance of rain in a little bit. So change of plans for breakfast today. Instead of cooking over the fire, we're gonna make uh, some breakfast burritos. Either cook them inside or cook them outside on the griddle so it's easy to run inside if it starts raining on us. And then uh, I think we're gonna head down to, uh, what city is that, Lena? Oxford. Oxford, yeah. We're gonna head down to Oxford uh, where the Miami of Ohio University is. Um, we're gonna hit the Walmart down there to get some mouse traps because we found uh, little mouse turds laying around the camper and uh, Lena doesn't like that. <laughs> so we'll pick some mouse traps, uh, maybe drive around the campus area, just see what that's like since we've never been there before. Another problem we've got is our awning doesn't seem to want to go in and out again. I had to climb up on the roof to help it go out and then uh, it did come back in, but it's going really slow. So I don't know if you saw my earlier video about replacing the awning motor, but it looks like mine's about to go out again. So if you want, uh, check that other video out if you're having problems. But I think we're going to go try and get ready for breakfast here before the rain, and we'll see you later. That could be my entire daily serving of sugar. So how's the ice cream? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. What'd you get? Lip gloss. Lip gloss? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can see. That looks awful glittery. <laughs> it is. <laughs> nice. All right, so we just got back. Uh, we finished breakfast this morning. Then we went into Oxford, uh, filled up the truck. It was on empty and uh, the range left was low so a little worried we weren't going to make it to the gas station in time but we did so the trucks filled up then we went and drove around the miami university campus a little bit it was kind of cool the houses all had names on them so i don't know there were uh i don't know tons of them there that had names on them i've got some uh, video so we'll put that up in the b-roll you can see what they look like um, we also talked to my brother-in-law who went to Miami and he told us where to go for lunch. It was called uh, what, Bagels and Deli. Bagel and Deli Shop. Yeah, the Bagel and Deli Shop. And we got some sandwiches there. Well, we got one sandwich and two of their uh, bagels that had one of the cream cheese and bananas. And what was on the other one? Cream cheese and cinnamon sugar. Yeah, uh, it was definitely worth a stop. If you're ever in Oxford, I'd say check it out. Yeah. And then uh, we walked around a little bit and ran into Melina's favorite ice cream shop. <laughs> Anytime I find me some graders, I gotta get it. <laughs> yeah, so we stopped and had some ice cream. And now we're back at the campsite. We're just gonna figure out what trail we wanna go on and take uh, Aspen with us and go hit the trail for a little bit. left the campground and drove over. We're going to try the Cedar Falls Trail and then there's a Sycamore Loop right across the street so we're going to hit them both. This is a really cool trail. It's a short one but there's lots of different places to get down to the river that's really shallow and rocky. So if you got waterproof shoes or hiking boots, it's a great place to just kind of walk out here. That's where the kids and I and Jason are right now and Aspen's having a blast in the water too. So it's just kind of fun. All right, we just finished the Cedar Falls Trail, right? Cedar Falls? Cedar Falls. Cedar Falls Trail. It's, uh, it's a fun trail. The first half of the trail, when you start at the back of the parking lot, 
is really rocky and hilly. Once you come down about halfway, you cross the river. And once you get on that side, it's more uh, like a trail through the woods. But it was still fun on both ends. Now we're back out here to the road and we'll go across the street to the uh, Sycamore Trail. The, both trails were fun, although I think I liked the first trail the cedar trail a lot better because it had more interesting stuff you got you got to go across lakes and there were a bunch of stuff you had to climb over definitely my favorite trail i liked the first trail better too because i could actually go in the water and it was more fun going in the water and there, it was more interesting and this trail was just boring I don't even know where to light it. Wherever you want. Um, That's nice. Right there. <laughs> Spread to the other paper. Spread down. Spread to the cardboard, please. Please. Hatch. Well, we got back from our hike, and Bryce just lit the fire for us. We're going to make dinner, try and eat a little earlier tonight. Then hopefully still go on a bike ride over to the lodge and check that out. So uh, Melinda's over there getting green beans ready. Bryce got the fire going. Make some barbecue chicken and green beans and what else are we having? Applesauce. An applesauce. And uh, we'll hopefully enjoy our dinner before it gets too late and still be able to go on a bike ride. Then come back and sit around the fire. Basically we got a lot to do. Sid, mm -hmm. you're supposed to cook the green beans before you eat them. I didn't even know bacon could bubble. Bubbles. Well, it's not the bacon bubbling, it's the grease bubbling. It's bacon fat. And that's a lot of fat, then. Hey, that's what's gonna make these green beans delicious. Well, we finished cleaning up for dinner, and now we are finally gonna take our bike ride up to the lodge and see what's going on up there. What do you guys think of the bike ride? It was fun. It was tiring. What do you think of the bike ride? I'm a little over, kind of over. I had to walk my bike up some of the hills. Yeah. Well, we took the long way around. Yeah. But now we only have like three miles to go back. And how many did we do? Seven. Point one five. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the lodge is definitely under construction. They're putting a new roof on it and uh, doing some other work outside too. It looks like. Go check it out. All right, so we're just leaving the lodge at Houston Woods State Park. Um, the lodge looks pretty nice. It's under construction right now though, so some things are a little rough in there. The ceiling's all tore up in the lobby and the indoor pool is closed. They're doing some repairs on that and they said they're not sure when it'll be open, but should be open later this summer. The outdoor pool is closed right now, but it is open. I think they said it closed at seven o'clock and they have uh, the pool only for lodge and cabin guests right now and you have to make a reservation if you want to use the pool. So you've got to call down to the front desk here at the lodge and then they'll give you a time slot for you to come and hang out at the pool. And they've got it limited to 50 people. Uh, the restaurant here in the lodge had very limited seating. It looked like there were only about 10 tables set up in there. 
but you can get your food to go. Uh, they have a bar downstairs that's also very limited. It looks like there was what, two tables in the bar. Yeah, not many. Um, but you know, it still looks like uh, there's people here and having a good time. Just a little different than usual. So we're gonna get on our bikes and head back to the campsite before it gets dark. <laughs> you want me to pick you up in the truck? <laughs> <laughs> you can go hang out in the lodge and have a drink. Hello. Well, we made it back from our bike ride and that was like 10 miles long and a lot of uphill, downhill. My legs are half dead. Yep. Sydney and I uh, got off our bikes <laughs> going uphill a couple of times. <laughs> Had to walk them up the hill, no shame in that. Um, but now I think we're just going to hang out by the campfire, relax a little bit, maybe make some mountain pies, eat that homemade ice cream that I was making this morning, um, and just kind of chill out. And then... I'm going to have an ice cream sandwich with the ice cream and cookies. All right, you have that. I'm having some mountain pies and ice cream and... Uh, yeah we're just gonna kind of leave it at that so it's been a fun day um took the trips all miami university and then did the hiking with the dog and then the biking to check out the lodge and everything so all right well now that fire is going well my face is really turning orange <laughs> so i'm gonna enjoy this and we'll see you in the morning That's the part that moves the wood. They're not in uh... oh, What? Hate mice. Well, it's Sunday morning. We uh, caught our first mouse. We checked all the mouse traps this morning and the one under the sink had a mouse in it. <sighs> Moina still doesn't like it. <laughs> Even uh, dead. Nope. But uh, mouse is gone, so well, hopefully we'll get the rest of them out of there too. Uh, Hopefully we don't find any more. Well, yeah, hopefully we don't find any more, but I'm guessing if there was one, there's at least two. Uh, we've never had mice in this camper before. We had mice in our last camper. And got rid of those pretty quick, I think. Yeah. And set some traps, and they didn't seem to come back after that. But, uh, you know, hopefully this is the only time we get mice in this one, too. We're going to hang out here this morning, make a fire to cook breakfast over, and then uh, get going. I've already seen a couple campers heading over towards the dump station so I'm sure the line's gonna get backed up by this afternoon and then we'll be over there we've got a about a four-hour drive to get home today so we're gonna try and get out of here by noon so we can get back home early enough to make dinner and not be what rushed before we both have to get up for work Monday morning All right, guys, hanging out here at Houston Woods. Um, we are in Loop B for our stay this time. Um, also, Loop A is right here next to us. These, This part of the campground is all pull-through sites. Um, loop A is gonna be the full hookup sites once those are completely done. Loop B is electric only as of right now. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting though, the, you come in through the middle and you pull off right or left depending on which site you're in. Um, but when you go to pull out, you're kind of heading in the same direction as when you came into your site. So it is making it a little tricky as campers are leaving this morning. Um, roads are not wide enough to be too wide. So you just kind of take off and hope nobody else is coming the same direction, I guess. So it's been a little, a little neat watching the campers go. Um, luckily, we haven't seen anybody have to pull off into the grass. So that's at least a good thing. Um, couple other different parts of the campground you have loop C through G that are also electric sites um, that is on the other side of the oval that's kind of in the middle of the electric stuff um, that side of the campground definitely has a lot more hills to it did see some trailers over there but they are parked in the grass there are asphalt areas that the cars are supposed to be parked in um, a lot more tents over there on that side when you come into the campground, you go off to the left for the electric stuff. Off to the right is the primitive campground. Did see some trailers over there when Jason and I drove through it yesterday. A lot more tents and things over there, but it was actually pretty busy on that side of the campground too. So if you're into primitive stuff, they have that option for you as well. All right, well, another adventure is about to come to an end. 
we're uh, just about done packing up and getting ready to head out of Houston Woods Park. And uh, we had a good time this weekend, but there was a lot we didn't get to see. Yeah, there was a um, regular golf course, disc golf course, dog park, archery range. Um, what else did we miss out on? The lake? Yeah, the lake. Yeah. There's uh, mountain bike trails, a bunch more hiking trails that we didn't uh, get to do. So I think if you're going to come back here, I'd definitely stay for more than just a two-day weekend. You could yeah. easily stay four days or a whole week and uh, have plenty of things to do, especially if you go into Oxford like we did and check out the town and university a little bit. Yeah, and the lodge has the pool, um, at least the outdoor pool. And one of the signs I saw yesterday at the lodge said that you could get um, passes. So if you're staying in the cabins or in the lodge, you get to use it for free. Um, but if you're in the campground, then I think you could at least just buy a pass if the kids want a pool or something. Yeah, I think for right now, though, the, the guy working there told me this year they're only giving uh, or only opening the pool to lodge and cabin guests, at least as of right now, because of their capacity restrictions. Maybe that'll change by the end of the summer. Um, we also noticed the playground had caution tape and signs up when we got here, but those were taken down. I don't know if that was taken down by people here camping or if it's officially open, but there were kids out on the swings and stuff earlier today. Yeah. Um, the caution tapes just kind of spread on the ground and the sign was laying next to the bench. So like I said, not sure if that's uh, legitimate or not. But the governor did open up playgrounds and things two days ago, so who knows? It could be legit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what, June 14th right now. So everything opened up, I think, June 12th as far as like playgrounds and things like that. So. Maybe they're open, maybe not. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what else? There's still like, you know, signs up in the bathrooms and restrictions there for capacity and number of people at a time. Um, the pavilion was still Yeah, the pavilion's out. still taped off. You can still come here and have a good time. They're trying their best to make sure everyone can still enjoy everything here. And uh, Anything else that you can think of? Not really. Yeah. I think we covered it all. I yeah. don't know. I had a great time this weekend. It's an absolutely beautiful state park. Probably one of my favorites in the state of Ohio. So hopefully we will be making another weekend RV adventure back here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you want to check out my trip to West Branch, we had a Memorial Day and see what the uh, restrictions and changes were like there compared to here. Go check that video out. And uh, I'll link up to the blog post I did that had the full list of restrictions. I know when we checked in at West Branch, they gave us a two-page flyer with everything that was closed or restricted. We didn't get anything like that here, so I don't know if... Uh, they're just not passing it out, but it was a state of Ohio document. It wasn't specific to West Branch. So we'll see. Maybe they're just opening things up. But we're going to get the trailer hooked up and head home. And we'll see you on our next adventure.